Markets. I can't stress enough how important it is to not only know the markets you're, you're working in, but to actually go to the business markets associated with whatever you're doing. Again, in film and television, it was, there's a lot of, you have the Toronto Film Festival going on, you have very small, you know, you have other festivals here, you've got nas other national markets, you've got the US market, American Film Institute, you've got Cannes Film Festival. It's really important to go to those things to know not just what's happening in our world here, but how the world perceives this kind of product, in that case film. If it's digital media, there's digital media markets to go to. You have to understand what, how the world perceives it. In my world, in terms of healthcare, we actually buy, we just got, you know, gave up in Canada for a while just because it wasn't very much, went to the States. And I spent two years doing the Call the Circuit, going to all the key healthcare markets to understand what is the marketplace, what are they looking for, what were my perceptions, and what were the needs and the perceived needs. And that's sort of the important thing. Just because someone says they need something doesn't mean that's what they actually need. That's just what they perceive they need. And you need to be able to go to these various markets and again, back to it's all research oriented to understand what that is and understand the differentiation. Um, in terms of digital media, it's pretty well the same in Canada, US, internationally, current some of the needs. Nuances are different, but the needs are the same. Healthcare, each market is very different. So in Canada, the Ontario market is different from Saskatchewan, different from BC. The Canadian market, therefore, is completely different from the US market, which is completely different from the British market and the Russian market and the French market in healthcare. So again, it's important to understand what it is to be able to craft what you're doing to cater to that. And until you know that, you can't answer some of those basic questions that are in your business plan in the first place. Then they have early customers, um, tests, pilots, studies. You've got the proof of concept, you've sort of gone through the thought leaders, you've got the proof of concept. Who's using it? What are they using it for? What are the early reactions to it? Again, the testing part is really important to show that it's working um, and also to take advantage, to go into realize what new, what changes you need to make. A great example, again, I'll use the healthcare as the example. When we created LifeWire, I thought it was just mind-numbingly simple. Because that was the idea, was to be mind-numbingly simple. Well, I learned my idea of mind-numbingly simple and then realized what the real need for mind-numbingly simple were two different things. We had to simplify it even further. A very, very quick example of it, in terms of just a response that comes in on your phone, used to take three taps. Basically, it's LW1 for example, for responding, responding to a one. I thought, well, that's pretty simple. That's pretty kind of neat. Well, we had about 25% of people using it on an ongoing basis, which wasn't bad, but wasn't great, and sort of like, well, okay, that's kind of where everyone else was. So we said, okay, how, do we ch how can we change it and make it simpler? Well, we said we got rid of the LW, so just one, two, or three, whatever the case may be. When we went to one click, we jumped from 25% to 95% utilization and across every demographic. So it's not just a matter of old folk like me going, I'd rather hit one. It's 18 year olds wanted to hit just one. It was amazing. It was, I didn't think that would, you would want that or needed that, but it was amazing the difference I'd had for that one click. Never would have thought of that if we hadn't gone through these various pieces. So again, early tests when we had our alpha version of what we created, we went out with that for two years, came back, made 1,872 changes from the feedback we had from it. Not that there was anything wrong with what we did, but it's just these little nuances from the marketplace as to who would use it. Again, our initial idea for that particular thing, that it would be consumer oriented. The consumers want to go in and help manage their health. They didn't want to deal with the healthcare system. Guess what? The exact opposite. They were very happy to be managed by the healthcare system. They just wanted to be something very simple. So we flipped it around to make it something that all the providers and healthcare providers could use very easily and integrate to their system. And that was after having done all kinds of research the first time around. So it's always refining, it's always that refinement of that idea. And again, in putting your business plan together, it's knowing how to evolve it to accommodate the, the marketplace and also the changing marketplace. When you're dealing with digital, the marketplace is changing really quickly. You know, again, in the digital media world, two years ago, geocaching you know, having games to, die, to, to deal with the, your location base, well, that's really cool, that's fantastic, that's to be the latest thing. Well, now, it's so, it's so 2010, where now it's gone to whole other levels for people, and it's, it's, it, the market's already moved on. So it's really important to be on top of where the markets are going so you can ride it, as opposed to being playing a catch-up. And again, in terms of back to 
you know, research, research, research. Because once you've done all that, it's, it's an ongoing process, an ongoing changing. So yes, you have a business plan in place, but the business plan, you know, I used to, when I, years ago, when I got my MBA, used to do business plans, five-year forecasts, and you could just do it in pen. Then it shifted to, so I'll we'll do three-year forecasts. Now we're down to monthlies, and if we do one year, we're happy, and we use pencils. Because it's going to change. And that's why the, the research, research, you know, slightly facetious, but it really is this changing and evolving pieces that were the marketplace is always changing and evolving.